what's going on guys hopefully everyone is doing well hope you guys are staying safe and everything but today's video I'm finally going to go over everything that I used for my gaming setup this is just my peripherals like my gaming mouse I've seen on stream Siobhan what mouse are you using hey Siobhan what mic is that hey Siobhan what headset is that so in this video I'm going to go through all my gaming peripherals and hopefully you guys find this video interesting and everything I talk about will be down below in the description right below that like button so yeah with my current setup I tried to have everything wireless as it's more comfortable for me while streaming and playing games I don't have to worry about wires tangling around my feet or limiting my mouse movement or anything I also wanted to keep that white and black setup I have going on here I just love the white I don't know you guys know me already so yeah the white has to stay so I tried to go for that nice aesthetic now without any further ado let's get started alright guys so the first thing we're gonna take a look at is my gaming keyboard now this is the Logitech G915 TKL. Long story short, I love this keyboard. Now my previous keyboard was the Walmir K66 and I thought no keyboard would compare to the Walmir because of how good the keys felt and also it was white of course and it has some nice RGB, probably just the best RGB effect on any keyboard I could find because of the acrylic body and everything but it was just not wireless and what made me start using the G915 TKL as my main gaming keyboard was just how versatile it was and it was also way more quiet than all the other keyboards I have now. Now the wireless functionality and the media keys also made a huge impact on my decision to use the G915 as my main keyboard while streaming I can easily control media I don't have to fuss around switching between different monitors pulling up Spotify or anything I just have the media keys right there so I can switch the media on the fly so another great feature of the keyboard is that it has Bluetooth and the wireless light speed receiver functionality so I can switch between my iPad and my PC as my keyboard input which comes in clutch so many times for example when I'm on my iPad on Twitch I tend to use my iPad for Twitch chat and stuff like that could easily switch between my iPad typing on the keyboard then switch back to the PC by using the Bluetooth it's just really handy now the keycaps are regular ABS which is kind of a bummer at this price point but it's not a deal breaker and I don't mind it what kind of sucks is that if you love using custom keycaps it's gonna be like really tough to try to find some cool replacement keycaps for this board due to the fact that these keys are low profile keys and the switches are the Logitech GL switches which doesn't really have like a huge third party market for custom keycaps so if you like mix and match in different color keycaps it's gonna be kinda hard now as far as my gaming experience has been if you follow my twitch channel which is Vision Chevy on twitch you just know how much I use this keyboard now I love the small footprint on my desk I like how low profile the switches are because the key travel is less so it's like much shorter compared to any traditional full size switch so that means you know the reaction time is much better and if you love RGB there's also endless amounts of customization with the Logitech G Hub um, software which you guys could use I know a lot of people despise this software but for me it works really well but yeah that's just the tip of the iceberg with this board from Logitech I did a full review on this board if you guys would like to check it out I'll leave the links down below as I said before but now let's look at my aiming beast and this is the Logitech G 305 wireless mouse and there isn't much to say about this mouse in terms of its specs it's a very simple bare minimum no frills mouse to me it's like the G Pro wireless without all the fancy fluffs is the same Hero 12 sensor as the G Pro wireless it's white come on now you know me already it also has that 1000 Hertz polling rate with a one millisecond response time if you use it at the maximum performance which kind of takes up more battery life but it's worth it which is also on like up to par with all the wired gaming mouse I know of on the market also the size and the weight for me it's good I haven't had any issues while playing to make me think oh man if I had a lighter mouse I'd hit that shot or I could turn fast or anything but I've seen people done some mods to this mouse to get it down from the 1000 grams with the standard battery inside to like 80 grams by using some 
triple A with some battery converters and stuff like that. But this mouse, the GT05, it uses a single double A battery to keep it powered. I've had it since four months now on my initial review and the battery is still at full percentage and I use the mouse literally every day. There's also no RGB on the mouse. As I said before, it's a no frill mouse if you're wondering. The mouse buttons are great. The side buttons are also very clicky and tactile. To me, it's a very solid mouse, especially for the price point, which is 40 US dollars. Now, a couple things I don't really like about this mouse or I hate is the scroll wheel. It's kind of, it's not that like buttery. I think it could be more buttery. And also, it's kind of small for my hands, so I have to fingertip grip. But aside from that, it performs well and it looks good aesthetically. So yeah, the black and white is really good. The mouse feeds, no issues here. And yeah, it's an overall really solid mouse from Logitech and that's why it's on my gaming peripherals list. All right, now let's jump on to one of the most important things that's in my setup. Now, when I say important, I mean like having a good headset is really important if you play competitive games. Good sound quality and also a good mic is what I look for in a headset. Now the headset of choice is the Logitech G Pro X Wireless. Now I had the G Pro X Wired before and I must confess the wired sounds better. It's an overall better sounding headset and the mic also sounds better and I think that's because the wired version uses the USB sound card and the DAC versus the wireless which is a wireless headset so it doesn't really use anything but the receiver now the sound quality difference between the two the wired and the wireless it's only noticeable if you use the custom presets inside the G hub software if you use them both on their default settings they will sound nearly identical and I couldn't really tell the difference between the two now this is the wired version as I said before as you can already see it looks messy because of all the wires but it sounds better and as I said before, only if you tangle and go inside the software and make your tweaks and changes. For some strange reason, the software options with the headset is kind of limited. I can't really like manipulate the same settings for this headset onto this one because it's somewhat limited in the software. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Now, in regards to comfort and design wise, the headset is an A plus for me. I love the fact that it doesn't look like too much of a gamer headset and if you want you could remove the mic right here which gives it that even cleaner look but then you, you would lose the um the side tone feature so side tone is basically a feature on the headset which basically uses the sound from the mic to let you guys hear yourself more so you won't be shouting and it also just gives it a really open air feel and i love that feature so i always try to keep the mic in even though I'm not really using it 100% of the time because sometimes I try to use a third party mic but on the go for now I'm sticking with the wireless mic because everything is clean I don't have to have any mics on my desk blocking my field of view while streaming so yeah overall the the mic the touchable mic right here is really good and as I said before the feeling is plush on the ears the leather ear cushion is soft enough for me to stream over six to eight hours without my ears feeling fatigued or hot all right so what's bad about the headset to me the only downside with the wireless over the wired aside from the sound is that you can't really use the wireless headset with any other device because it's not Bluetooth it uses the receiver the light speed receiver compared to the wide version which is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack I think they should have added a port for the like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port here so we could use this with their phones and stuff like that but I think it would probably kill sales for the wide version which on the business end kind of makes sense now the sound quality the sound is good it kind of lacks bass but when it comes to directional audio and me hearing footsteps it's a good like good sound it has it just it does a good job here now there's no hiss in the background or anything yes I do use the surround sound feature in the G hub software though a lot of people hate it I think it really helps with audio and yeah with that I like I hear so much footsteps my friends always say yo how do you hear that what headphone are you using but they always think I have my headphone max volume but I think it's just because of the surround sound feature here it does a good job now the mic the mic won't win any sound quality awards but for basic streaming and discord calls stuff like that you'll be fine here and this is what the mic sounds like with the blue voice enabled now this is how the mic sounds like with the blue voice enabled and you could choose different so this is the AM radio 
the broadcaster one now this is the broadcaster two this is the fm station preset and this is tsm's myth preset right now but yeah let me know what you guys think about the mic it's not the best but let's switch over to the wired mic to let you guys hear what that sounds like okay guys so as you can see now we're using the wired version and i'm also using a blue voice preset that i found in the community and as you can hear it sounds amazing now this is what it would sound like without the blue voice enabled all right, so no blue voice enabled. This is what it sounds like. And to me, it's an overall better sounding quality mic than the wireless pair right here. But yeah, hope this helps in your decision purchase. So yeah, overall, it's a solid mic and it has the wireless advantages. Like, come on, you could literally walk up, go to the bathroom, still hear your friends to tell you when the game is about to start. Or you could just get up, bring your plates up to the the washer wash your dishes still hear your friends you'll never miss action while using a wireless headset and that's something i really appreciate with the wireless headsets and also you won't have wires dangling on your chairs i can't like tell you guys how many times with the wired version i had the wires stuck on my arms stuck on the wheels on the chairs i get up it will plug up by itself sometimes it will disconnect and i'm talking in discard for the entire time and they say yo Siobhan, i can't hear you stuff like that so yeah like having the wires is just i don't really miss it the only thing i miss is the full like sound quality you get the powerful sound you get from the wired versus the wireless but yeah overall solid headset uses usb type c as well which is kind of cool but yeah that was like literally my entire game peripheral setup let me know what you guys think if you have any ideas for me also the mousepad i'm using is the logitech regular g mousepad yes i love logitech if you guys didn't realize by now and yeah if you have any tips for me let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this type of content let me know as well if you're new here subscribe for more content like this and as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out <laughs>